What's up guys, welcome back to Pin Daddy Destro. I'm back again with another action figure review. As promised in the Galactus unboxing video, I was gonna do a separate video for the Galactus Heralds. Um, and finally, we've gotten around to it. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the exclusive Marvel Legends that did come with that HasLab. First, we'll be starting with Morg. We will then be moving to Silver Surfer. He is not on his board right now, he fell off. And lastly, Frankie Ray Nova. So uh, let me get the camera turned around and we will start to review these guys. All right guys, now that I got the camera turned around, we will start with our very first Galactic Herald, that being Silver Surfer or Norn Rad. So unfortunately we don't have a box to look at. We do have the big Galactic box, but there is no, you know, like the single carded figures where there is a brief description. So I thought, hey, why not get a description offline so I'm going to use my favorite source to look up Marvel characters, that being marvel.fandom.com. If you are interested in looking up any character in the Marvel Universe, this is a pretty good database and tool to use to figure out and learn about these characters. So please use that. I am using a brief summary from what I have discovered on there. Okay, so uh, basically Silver Surfer came to be when Galactus was going to consume the planet Zenla, which is... Norn Rad's home planet. But in exchange for that, they gave up Norn Rad, which eventually had him turn into a Galactic Herald. And uh, from what I gathered, this look, I've always been so curious, why a Silver Surfer? Why is, why is it a Silver Surfer? Is that something I'm missing? But this is a childhood fantasy from the mind of Norn Rad, and Galactus turned him into that. And the last thing I kind of have is uh, Silver Surfer had a really, really tough time on the first time that he accompanied Galactus in consuming a planet. And it was so bad that Galactus had to alter his mind so he'd be more, um, you know, not so conscious about taking the lives of others and consuming these worlds. But, and he comes with a litany of powers. If you are curious about his powers, go on to the, the marvel.fandom.com and just take a look at a few of them. I was going to write them all down and read them all out, but that between the three Galactic Heralds was really, really tough. There is so many powers. Obviously, he has the power cosmic. He can fly, stuff like that, and has all these superhuman abilities, but yeah, the, the character is very expansive. There's a ton of lore on Silver Surfer, and I highly recommend you check him out. So, getting to the figure himself. Oh, man, he's about to fall. Which, for me, I haven't had the best time with having him stand up. When I did get this guy out of the box, I could not figure out what was going on. I was trying to put the board on the bottom side here. Here, let me slowly bring this down a little. Um, I was trying to put the... The, the surfboard on this side for some reason and trying to stand it on that and I was like what am I doing wrong and then eventually I had put it on but I had it too far forward or back and I couldn't get him in a low enough pose to where he could stand on it and I haven't had the best success with putting it in the hand of Galactus yet but overall this is what the the the, the figure comes with he does have an extra set of hands he has his karate chop hands he has his like wall crawling spider-man hands and he has a pair of that, so, you know, a right wall crawling hand and a left uh, knife hand. And I believe he also comes with fists, too, which I don't really fit the Silver Surfer, so I don't have those displayed on him. He also comes with this um, energy effect, which is a beautiful, like, cosmic purple, which I think suits this character really well. And obviously his stand down here and his board, which all look really nice, especially since this is the second Silver Surfer I have in my collection. I do not have the Walgreens exclusive, but I would love to add him. And he also has a little hard time standing up on that if you aren't careful. So uh, let's take a look at this. I kind of, in order to get this off, I normally just take the hand off, put it back on, just so I don't stretch out any plastic. But this Silver Surfer character is on a generic mold. I think this is the one that they use for Spider-Man a lot, if I'm correct. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I believe it is. Um, and this is also what the other Silver Surfer's molds are. Um, and it is pinned, as you can see, which is a little bit of a bummer, but honestly not that bad. I do have the Fallen one. 
um, Silver Surfer, but I have him in box. Um, I love that action figure. I actually found it in a Walgreens back home. And I, I got my buddy one and myself one and absolutely love that action figure. I wish I would have picked up one more and just had him for take out of the box and display him. But overall, this figure looks pretty good. The silver doesn't look bad at all. It's definitely a lighter silver. I know the Walgreens one is more metallic, which would have been really, really nice. But overall, this figure has basic articulation. You can get them in any pose. Um, head sculpt looks pretty nice. Um, I definitely like this Silver Surfer. I'm not complaining, especially since I don't have the Walgreens one. If I had the Walgreens one, I probably wouldn't be that happy about this figure, honestly. But um, overall... The, the board and the board stand is really nice. You just gotta, you're gonna have to balance them sometimes, you know, and, and really play with them. Um, and you might have them fall a couple times. I have, I mean, obviously that's not a surfing stance, but I have seen on YouTube and on Instagram many different poses for this guy. So definitely capitalize on that. But overall, a very solid figure um, to add to this HasLab collection. Okay, we are now going to move on to Frankie Ray. All right, guys, now that we've talked about Silver Surfer, we're gonna talk about Frankie Ray. So who is Frankie Ray or Nova? Um, I had no idea about this Galactic Herald. Uh, I think when I first heard about this pack getting released, I knew, obviously, Silver Surfer, Terax the Tamer, and I think Fire Lord was the only other one that I kinda had a, a spectrum on I knew about. But Frankie Ray, I'll give a brief description from marvel.fandom.com, uh, offered herself as a galactic herald to Galactus when Galactus had reconsidered his oath to bow or to devour Earth. And she was eventually later killed by Mora. I know this is a very brief description, but I just wanted to make it pertinent to the galactic theme, things that happened when she was a Galactus herald. I know she has a history with Johnny Storm and how she got her powers and stuff like that. If you are interested, please, please look up on these characters um, because it'll make you uh, appreciate some of these characters a lot more. So getting right to the figure. Um, this is Frankie Ray. Obviously, you can see I don't have her in her stand quite right. I can't get her to fit in. Um, but this is her on her, her flying stand. Um, and as she is a fire-based galactic herald superhero. Um but while we have her in the stand, as you can see, the paint looks pretty good on it. It looks flamey. Um, oh my. Um, and it's pretty good. It's like that translucent plastic where if I was to shine an LED under this, it, you would see some light coming through and it giving it kind of a, a glow in a way. Um, but there is a foot peg there and you're supposed to put the left foot I believe maybe I'm doing it wrong maybe it's supposed to be the right but I think I tried that but my foot for Frankie Ray will not stand in that little peg which is a bummer because I do want Galactus to be holding this character um, so unfortunately mine doesn't work that good um, but overall really awesome display piece and I just figured out yesterday how to put it in Galactus's hand I was watching some videos and uh, someone kind of just showed how to do it. And I was like, oh man, I felt silly. But this is the Frankie Ray action figure by itself. It's that nice gold plastic that I also believe we'll see on Molten Man when he comes out earlier next year. But notable things for her, her head sculpt with a beautiful fiery mane that she has. I think the head sculpt is perfect. I love this head sculpt on her. Um, definitely one of my favorite female action figures. Um, the only problem I do have with this action figure is that the joints, and you can, this is a very easy fix, just be very careful with them and heat them up. Uh, I think warm water works as well. Soften that plastic before you start twisting stuff. I started, especially with the elbows, the elbows, they're double jointed. However, if you're not careful, you may stress that plastic and break it. And like mentioned before in my Galactus review video, if you break one of these figures, you're out a hundred bucks if you want to replace it, like no doubt. Um, on the secondary market, most of these figures are already 120 a piece, hundred dollars a piece. Don't know if people are buying them though. So overall, great body mold on her, uh, pinless, looks pretty good. I, I think this 
represents the character very well. And I highly recommend, uh, if you don't have this figure and you want to get it and you didn't get the Galactus, this might be worth the pickup, honestly. I, I think she's perfect. She'd look cool right next to Johnny Storm. But overall, excellent figure on Frankie Ray. Um, now we will move on to Morg. All right, guys, now that we have Morg in front of us, I do believe that this is my favorite action figure from the lot, um, other than Galactus, obviously. But when the HasLab was initially announced, you know, I expected a Silver Surfer. Uh, Frankie Ray was awesome, but this guy, I was like, man, it really sucks that he isn't going to be on single card um, because I really want this action figure. So this guy, Galactus, was kind of like my... The things that threw me over the table and was like, ah, man, I got to get this thing. Overall, this figure looks just as good as the renders did a year ago. Um, the new sculpting, I don't think anything on here is reused, to be frankly honest. Um, and before I get right into the figure, let me give you a brief description of Morg like I was supposed to from Marvel.Fandom. Um, he was an executioner, hence his big axe and menacing look. Uh, and was later confronted by the other Galactic Heralds because of him being so savage and brutal and uh, having no conscience. Um, he ended up murdering Frankie Ray Nova, and he was later killed by Terax the Tamer, which I do have him, and we'll do a size comparison here in a moment, and was revived on multiple occasions. And that seems to be... Oh, sorry. Uh, that seems to be... A common trend with a lot of Marvel. You'll have people getting revived out of nowhere. Um, and I feel like this guy's no exception. But overall, getting to the figure, I think this is a perfect, uh, accurate representation of Morg. I'm sure there's some things that you could tweak. But overall, I love the texture on the skin, the gauntlets, the boots, the um, little kind of crotch piece here that's like an armor itself. This figure is awesome. It does. It is lacking a little bit of articulation because of how bulky he is, but he does have double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. However, the knees can't go all the way up because of the the top of the boots flaring out like the flange on them. Um, but overall, just a beautiful, beautiful figure, and I'm really bummed. Hopefully, one day we'll get a single carded version of him, just to re-release him or something, because this character is so cool, and I feel like people deserve to have him. Got a little scratching on the uh, the butt of mine right there. Just noticed. I don't know. If, I don't think he's fallen any, so that's kind of weird. But the face sculpt itself is absolutely wonderful. Ten out of ten on this figure. I really love this figure, and so happy to have him in my collection. Um, but overall. For the Galactic Heralds, I absolutely give them a pretty decent score, I would say. I don't know about a 10 out of 10. He, he's definitely a 10 out of 10. But, um, you know, the, the Silver Surfer is cool for me because I don't have a out-of-the-box displayed Silver Surfer. But for the guys that have the Walgreens Silver Surfer, they might not like it. But I do really believe Frankie Ray is a awesome uh depiction of that character so i'd have to get it like an eight or a nine out of ten uh, especially since i don't have the walgreens exclusive silver server but now that we have morg here we have terex beside him obviously you see terex is towering over morg but morg gives up a fight to all the galactic heralds that assemble to uh take him on and definitely gives them a run for their money Eventually is killed by this guy though, which you can see bigger axe beats little axe, right? Um, and we are getting this Terax figure, I believe next or no, it's already hitting some people's mailboxes in the UK. So by the end of the year, you'll see this exact figure again. From what I'm hearing, the ball ball jointed legs, everything should be the same. So I'm probably gonna have to sell that one and keep my following one, but. Overall, guys, I really enjoyed this. Stay around for some action shots, and please like and subscribe uh, and comment on what your opinion is of these action figures and the whole Galactus HasLab itself. But if you want to follow me, follow me on Instagram at cometotheteaparty.com. Stay tuned and check out some more videos I got in the, in the works. Take care, guys.